Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a Laravel package called Lunar, which is also known as headless e-commerce for Laravel. So I'm going to explain you why it is called headless and how you can install Lunar in our Laravel project. So after you install Lunar, uh, you will get a dashboard like this, you can see. So I'm going to show you everything uh, step by step from the very beginning. So first of all, let's go and first create a Laravel project. So let me just go to my folder over here. Let's say I'll create my project over here in my new volume D. So here I'm going to open a command from. Let me just zoom in and I'm going to say over here Laravel new. Let's say our project will be Laravel Lunar. Press enter. So it will create a Laravel project for us. So I'll just fast forward the video. So here you can see the project creation is complete and here is the project folder here you can see Laravel Lunar. So let's just go to the project directory first. So I'm going to server here cd Laravel Lunar. Press enter. So currently we are in the project directory. So let's run the project php artisan serve. So I'll just copy this and let's go to our browser and let's just paste this over here. Press enter. And this is our freshly created Laravel project. So right now we need to install our Lunar package in our Laravel project. So for it, we need to go to the documentation. So we'll click on documentation and here you can see get started. So we'll click right now, get started. And once you click get started, you will see overview option. So we'll just directly go to the installation part. Just click installation. And here we need to write some command in our command prompt. So I'll keep the link of this installation page in the description. So just check out the description. So first of all, our first command is composer require lunar PSP slash lunar. So I'll just copy this and right now we will again go to our project directory. And here you can see our project. So I'll just go inside and I'll open another command prompt here. Then let me just zoom in and I'll paste the first command we just uh, formed here. You can see install lunar this part. So we'll right now press enter. So it will install repair package for lunar in our Laravel project. And one more thing I'd like to mention and that is that in order to use lunar your PC version must be greater than 8.0 and you must use Laravel 9 or 10. Okay and this is the MySQL and post SQL version. Just make sure that uh, your version is higher than those. Okay, so right now let's go back to our command prompt. And here you can see it is installing. And the command is completed. Installation is complete. So right now, after that, uh, we need to make some changes in our user model. So right now, let me just open the project in Sublime Text. So file, open folder. I'll go to new volume D. And here is Laravel Lunar, our project. So I'll just select it and close the previous project. So first of all, uh, here we first need to go to the user model and we need to write this at the top of our user model. So we'll just copy this. Then let's go back to our code here. We go to app, then models. Inside model, we have user.php. So inside the user.php, we'll just write this on use lunar base traits lunar user which is this one and we also need to write this use lunar user in inside the authentication class okay so let's go back again and here after this use notifiable we'll say over here use lunar user so let's save this so we can just close this right now and after that uh, we need to write this in the dot env file which is scout diver database underscore index. So let me just copy this. Then we'll just directly go to dot env and we can just paste this anywhere we want. So we just paste it over here, then save. And here you can see run the artisan installer. So you can see PSP artisan lunar install. So this will install lunar and it will also create some database table in our database. Okay. So I'll just copy this command, this version lunar install and paste it in the command prompt over here, then press enter. And it will ask us, do you want to run the migration? We say over here, yes, I haven't created my database. So would you like to create it? We say over here, yes, then press enter. So here you can see it created some database table over here. 
and it is a lot of table and after migrating the database table it will ask us your first name let's say my first name is yamin this will be the admin user first name and last name so let's just say over here yamin shakin you can say it anything and here we'll say email address will be admin at the end of gmail.com press enter and we need to give a password let's say one two three four five six seven eight press enter and there you go it is created Lunar is now installed. Uh, show some love. Okay, we can just ignore this for now and let's just minimize this. So, right now, uh, you notice that there was a lot of table that was migrated in our table, database table. So, let me just refresh my PC, my admin. And here we need to find a table called Laravel Lunar. So, I'll just search over here Laravel Lunar. So, let's click on this database. And there you can see inside the database table, there is a lot of uh, table over here. But if you go to our code over here in the migration folder, there you can see there's just only four table over here. That thing is the lunar use database prefix. So that's why uh, all the table that you are seeing over here is not over here showing. But if you want to show all the database table name over here, then all you have to do is that uh, let me just go to the installation part and here, uh, based addition lunar install, uh, we'll just write to code out and here you will see that you can optionally publish lunar migration so they are added to your Laravel app. So we'll just copy this command PSP addition vendor publish tag lunar migration. So if you just copy this and go to our command prompt, paste it here, press enter, it will show all the table in the migration folder. So right now, if we just go to our migration folder over here, you can see there's a lot of table over here. You can see. So those are those table are created using Lunar. So right now, uh, if you go to the installation page, there you can see there is one more command, publish command. If you want to like add some advanced option, you can add this command. But for now, we can just ignore this. So right now, if we just refresh our Laravel project over here, there you can see there is nothing changes. The thing is, you can see that you are now installed. You can access to the admin hub at HTTP your site slash hub. So in order to go to the admin site, we just need to say over here slash hub, then press enter. So it will take us to our admin dashboard. Right. So since we are not logged in, so it will first ask us our email and password. So we'll give our email, which was admin at and password was 1234 Then click sign in. And there you can see it took us to the admin dashboard. So this is our name, Yamin Shakil. You can see view profile, logout option. Uh, we can even add some product if we want. There you can see there is nothing in the product. That's why stock is empty put account zero we can even add brand over here there's all the option available over here that is needed for a e-commerce admin dashboard so here you can see if you want you can create a band let's say brand name will be Vogue. then click create band and here you can see brand is added there you can see name we can even add a image for the band so let's just add an image for our brand so for it we just need to click on the vog option then here you can see a image upload option so let's just click on it and let's just choose the image random image from here click open and there you can see the image is opened so if you want to like uh, delete it uh, delete a brand you can also delete the brand over here you can see danger zone over from here you can delete any brand you can even add slug add url and there is only one language for now and here you can see the save option if i now click save it will save our brand over here so here you can see that uh, brand is added there you can see the image is missing uh, so for it uh, the thing is the image is uploaded in the storage folder so in order to link our laravel project to the storage folder we need to write a command which is php addition storage name php artisan storage storage clone link press enter and there you can see a link is created so right now, if we refresh again, it will still not show us the image. The thing is, uh, here you can see on to seven dot zero dot zero dot on eight thousand. So we just copy this, then we will go to our dot env over here, and here you can see it is written local post. So instead of local post, we are going to set this on, and also make sure to remove the slash at the end. So right now, if we save, 
then if we now refresh here we should be able to see the emails here you can see we are we can see the emails so here we also have product types uh, we can create product types we can see orders we can see customers discount there's all the option available over here and this is how our dashboard looks we can see our product returning customer turnover all the necessary option that is required in a laravel e-commerce admin dashboard okay so uh, here you can see setting if we now click setting there you can see that we have channel currencies customer groups you can even add languages over here by default it is e english you can change the language create a new language you can add hindi bangla japanese anything and there is a stub option over here you can see you can even add stub and you can even give them some access if you want you can even add a admin from here and here you can see you can just you just need to give a first name last name give a email password and you can even make that user admin or you can just choose a uh, limited access to a staff so this is a dashboard for a e-commerce website or e-commerce project admin dashboard this is basically but this lunar package do not have any front end it means this is the e-commerce package for only admin dashboard it do not have have any front end for e-commerce so you have the option that you can create your own front end for your own e-commerce and just connect those table with our lunar package and that is really simple all the table is just created you just need to uh, make, make a connection when you are creating your front end design for your e-commerce laravel project so this is why it is called headless e-commerce for laravel so basically it provides a e-commerce admin dashboard not the content dashboard that the uh, regular users see so basically it give you option freely create your own content for the user so this package is actually relatively new uh, there will come a lot of updated feature in the future so they may change a few things here and there so but for now i think this package is really good you can try it by yourself at least for a e-commerce project this admin dashboard seems complete if you want you can add new features in the admin dashboard as well so this is all i just wanted to introduce you to a new package called lunar this is relatively new uh, so a lot of people do not know about this package so that's why I decided to make this tutorial. I hope you like this video. If you have any question, you can always let me in the comment section. And if you want to build a full e-commerce project using a package with front end and also the admin dashboard, then you can check out the video on the screen. Make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you in the future tutorials.